Hi again, in my last video I showed you how to create an image carousel. Today I am going to explain to you how you can create an image gallery. So let's get started. Make sure the WP Carousel Pro plugin is installed in your WordPress site. You can directly click add new or you can click on the WP Carousel Pro and then click add new to create a new gallery. Give it a title for your gallery and select source type as image and then click add images to select images from your media you can select as many images as you want now click create a new gallery and here you will find the list of your selected images for each image you can add a caption a description and an external or internal link and most importantly you can order the images by doing drag and drop like this Finally, click insert gallery to display those images in your gallery. So now let's see how the gallery looks initially. So let's see it in the live preview. So it is showing as a carousel. Why it is showing as a carousel? Because you didn't set the layout type as gallery. So you must remember to set layout type as gallery. And now if you update it and you can see this is how the gallery looks like initially. Now let's see some more properties regarding the image gallery. So you can select a layout mode from event or machinery. You can set a link type from link, lightbox and none. When you select link type as link and click on the image, it will take you to the link you have set to the image. And when you select lightbox, it will open the large image in a pop-up with many other options. You will find the lightbox related properties in the lightbox settings. And if you select none, then there will be no click action on the image. Since it is a photo gallery, you may wonder where the pagination options. So scroll down a bit and here you will find the pagination options. You can turn on or off it or you can enable or disable it. Select a pagination type from load more button ajax or load more button infinite scroll. And you can change the load more button level as well. And you can set how many items you want to show per page or per click. So you can change it like this. And now if I update the preview, you will see 10 images are showing per page. Set the load more alignment from left, center or right and change the pagination color as you like. Now you may wish to display the caption and description at the right, left, top or overlay of the image. So how you can do that? Go to the style settings. And here you will find the content position options. You can set the content position to bottom, top, right, left or overlay. So let's see an example of the top content position. So select top and update the preview. Now you can see the contents are showing at the top of the image. So you can play around with the content position options as you like. You can show or hide the caption and description of the images from here. So if I hide it and update the preview, you can see the caption are not showing at all in the gallery and also you can set a zoom and image mode effect for the images so if i select zoom in and update the preview you can see this is how the zoom in effect looks like there are so many options for you to customize the gallery and give it an elegant look you will find all the options in the carousel configuration tabs general settings style settings lightbox settings and the typography options so now let's publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode from the bottom of the page and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text, code or shortcode block and publish the page and view it. So as you can see, this is how the image gallery looks like. So now click load more to load all the images. So if you click on an image, it will pop up in a light box like this. And there are so many options for the lightbox. You can configure from the plugin lightbox menu. And you can also configure the plugin caption and description font related properties in the typography options. That's all about creating an image gallery. I hope you have gotten clear idea. In the next video, I will come up with another feature of the plugin. So see you in the next video.